This is VOA News. I'm Joe Ramsey. Some senior Ukrainian officials have departed amid a corruption crackdown. AP correspondent Charles de la Desma reports. The deputy head of Ukraine's presidential office has quit after the president pledged a staff shakeup amid high level corruption allegations. Kirilo Tymoshenko asked to be relieved of his duties, according to an online copy of a decree signed by President Volodymyr Zelensky and Tymoshenko's own social media posts. Neither have given a reason for the resignation, and local media is reporting Deputy Defence Minister Vyacheslav Shapovalov has also resigned, alleging his departure was linked to a scandal involving the purchase of food for the Ukrainian armed forces. I'm Charles de la Desma. Germany will send Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine and allow other countries, such as Poland, to do the same to help Kiev fight off Russia's invasion, while the United States may supply Abrams tanks to sources familiar with the, rat- the matter, told Reuters. While there was no official confirmation from Berlin or Washington, officials in Kiev swiftly hailed what they said was a potential game-changer. The war in Ukraine has pushed the doomsday clock forward, the AP's Lisa Dwyer reports. The deputy ha- we move the clock forward the closest it has ever been to midnight. It is now 90 seconds to midnight. That's 10 seconds closer to striking midnight than last year. The announcement comes from the president and CEO of the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, Rachel Bronson, who says, The members of the Science and Security Board move the hands of the doomsday clock forward, largely, though not exclusively, because of the mounting dangers in the war in Ukraine. I'm Lisa Dwyer. This is VOA News. Documents with classified markings were discovered in former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence's home in the Midwestern state of Indiana last week, according to his attorney. The latest in a string of recoveries of confidential information from the homes of current and former top U.S. officials. The documents had been, quote, inadvertently boxed and transported to Pence's home at the end of the last administration. Pence's lawyer, Greg Jacob, told the National Archives in a letter last week. The U.S. Justice Department and eight states are suing Google over the digital advertising dominance. AP's Ed Donahue reports. Attorney General Merrick Garland says it's been going on for a while. For 15 years... Google has pursued a course of anti-competitive conduct. The government alleges Google's strategy is to neutralize or eliminate rivals through buying other companies and to force advertisers to use its products by making it difficult to use competitors' products. Website creators earn less and advertisers pay more. And Garland says this is passed on to the consumer. Google's parent company Alphabet says the suit doubles down on a flawed argument that would slow innovation, raise advertising fees, and make it harder for thousands of small businesses and publishers to grow. Ed Donahue, Washington. Peru's President Dina Buluarte on Tuesday called for a national truce as thousands of protesters continued to call for her resignation and fresh elections. Llamamos Boluarte called for, quote, dialogue, peace, and unity following weeks of protests that have at times turned violent, with at least 46 people killed in clashes between demonstrators and security forces. Many Peruvians remain angry at the ouster of former President Pedro Castillo, who was arrested on December 7th after attempting to dissolve parliament and rule by decree. A deadly rampage by a 67-year-old suspect in Northern California was likely an act of workplace violence, authorities said on Tuesday, offering fresh details about the second in a back-to-back mass shootings that killed 18 and horrified the nation. In two separate shootings within three days, 11 people were killed at a Los Angeles area dance hall and seven others murdered at two farms in the seaside town of Half Moon Bay near San Francisco. U.S. authorities on Tuesday announced the U.S. Coast Guard rescued nearly 400 migrants in Bahamian waters on Saturday. A video posted on social media showed a sailboat carrying a large number of people being approached by rescue boats. I'm Joe Ramsey, VOA News. Please subscribe, like, or comment. 
Thank you. Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm an American. I grew up in the U.S. I am a professional English language educator with extensive experience in teaching 
English, especially English for academic purposes, test preparation, and general English to university students and adults of all levels from A1 to C2.